Welcome back to Starfield, everyone. We will be continuing our journey into the space and stuff. All right. So today we are actually just going to be looking around the area a little bit. Okay, we need to turn that up by here. Settings, game plan, nope. I hate how there's no save button for these settings. There we go. That that's a little better. That's actually that's a little bit much, dude. One piece. Oh god. Oh, let's go. Let's go look around a little bit here. We can't go back in there. All right, over this way. Wee. So I wanted to just initially explore all of this stuff right here and see how exactly it's going to go. We could probably turn down this just a hair. Here we go. Here we go. I think that'll be a little bit better of a way to go there. All right, let's I don't know what kind of FPS we're getting here, but it's not great. It's not awful. It's not great. Alright, so I already looted all these guys. Can't believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Um uh, where is their ship? Oh, that's their ship. I'm sorry. Like you can just jump over everything. Better not be coming out of our pay. Yo, get out of the way, lady. Did you see Lynn? Ran straight at those pirates like you were I mean, I guess I probably can't get in there anyways. Let's go over here. I mean, initially, like, they want you to get in the ship and just fly away, but why not explore the area just a little bit, you know? Like, what's around here? I mean, I guess there's probably nothing... I already looted all this area down here, and I can't get back into any of the buildings, because it's just like I came out of the mine, and then I just got a ship, because those pirate guys. Oh, shit. What happens when I jump? Fall damage? Ooh, a little bit. Blew out our knee there, probably. Alright, so I don't think we need to take this robot guy with us. Protocol Indigo is in effect. Yeah, that's okay. So, I guess we're going to go learn how to fly this thing. Let's go, baby. Let's go. As far as graphics go, we are doing okay. And I feel like we're getting a lot higher FPS using OBS Studio than we were with Streamlabs. So if you are recording and posting gameplay, or if you are... Okay, so we're getting 32. But it's like a steady 32. Instead of dips and whatever. Mm, I guess it could be a lot better. But that's what we're going to get for now until they optimize for higher end combinations. 3080, 3090, 4070, 4080, 4090, stuff like that. Alright, we're going to sit down in the seat.
take off for the first time in our ship. Oh, I don't think you can actually take off. I take a little screenshot there, sorry. Okay, so we have our telemetry on the left. To test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. All right, use equip ship sist select a ship system to allocate power. You can skip the tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grab drive. Each system on a ship requires power. Oh. Power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Got it. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Oh, yo, I'm gonna get Try lost, my guy. Gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Oh, wow. So let's go all the way low. Yeah, that's so cra crappy. Let's and we go full speed. The Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power. It automatically does it for you. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, it'll be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower okay. right. Hull damage is below it. Okay, so. Oh God! Bringing its weapons to bear. This is crazy. Need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. Are you from that explorers? If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. Oh, dude, this is honestly a little difficult because for some reason, is I, there's got to be, hold on, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's got to be settings for flight controls, right? Controls, let's see. <sighs> flight stick swap, swap left and right sticks when flying. Look sensitivity? Nope, that's all still the same. Outpost item rotation speed. Oh, wait, fly cam? Speed for panning. I don't think this is any of this is going to have anything to do with it. I'm taking you down. Yeah. I... I 
mean, this is gonna take me a while, but to f really figure this out. Oh! The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. This aerial combat's kind of weird. Let's go, baby! Alright, we figured that out pretty quick. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that was pretty good. Now, could we have taken some of the engine... Oh, y'all can't really see that. Hold on a minute. Make myself just a hair smaller here. I feel like we need to be, like, somewhere else on the screen. But that's alright. Alright, anyways, so my flight stuff is right above my head and we have the what I assume to be you will need to fly close to it before we can like a cannon with bullets we have missiles and we have laser beams so those are the weapons right here so we can obviously like turn that shit up and down and I guess the more we progress the more of these we get so alright let's go two more crimson fleet ships are jumping into our location oh, Jesus alright alright now lasers Take another one from there and go missile. All right, we got this, baby. Missile, you got. This thing turns real good when you uh, get it just right. Go, baby. How do I pick it up? So lasers we're gonna keep there for now. Um Oopsie. What do I do? What does it want me to do? Uh I don't know what to do. Um. 
Oh, that would have been nice to know. If I, that I can just do that. What? How do I pick it up? Like, there's just parts of ships in here. I need. I want this stuff. Like, these are huge engines right here. How do I get it? I want to get it. Um. System. No. I don't know what to do here. Okay, let's let's hold on a minute. Can I pick stuff up? How do I get stuff? I want it. I want to get it. Like. How do I pick it up? Pick it up. Pick it up. All right, we gotta Google. I, I I honestly do not know how to how to grab stuff. So let's Google real quick. How to pick up items in space? In Starfield. No. Where to find how to pick up and move place items without what the what is going on here? How to loot ships. All right, that's what I that's what I meant to write. <clears throat> Destroy it. If you feed a ship in space, you'll see a little gray and white marker. Radical. Okay, where the ship debris you can, you can acquire. Follow the marker to get close to the ship, and you can pick up anything remaining, any remaining loot. You want to disable the engine so you can grab, jump, away, or... Oh. Okay, I, I guess, so we just get close to it. Oh, well, look at that! Bam, bro. Okay, that was easy enough. I really get it from all the way over here. Oh no, we gotta get closer than that. How close do you have to be in Starfield to grab stuff? Closer than 1300? Closer than 500? Alright, so we gotta be just under 500. Alright, let's get to our destination. Where's my objective? Oh, there it is. Is this the grab drive thing? Please just fucking go. 
Aw, oh, that was lame. So we'll do a grav, we'll do a laser, we'll take one from the missile, put it in the laser. Alright, so on the press uh, data menu from there you can open the star map. Where's the fucking star map? Star map. Alright, planet. View of star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet. Rotate my planet! Until the, you see the Crete Research Lab. Probably had too much coffee today. Map icon in this view. Then select the map icon to land there. I really do, I mean, I know it's been a big complaint for a lot of people. I do wish that they would have let us just actually land on the planets, but, you know, whatever. Okay, scan. Oh, that's dope, dude. So, okay, so these are obviously, like, big land masses, and it tells you where the, like, iron and stuff like that is. So, I'm guessing, uh-uh, can't go to Antarctica. Argon. So this is argon gas. And it tells you the resources as well, right above my head here, obviously. <laughs> we got water, iron, lead. I'm guessing this is gonna be lead, yeah. Argon, uh, is this a slightly different gray color? No. Blue is argon, that's up here. This is just regular land. Where's green? This is... Oh, look at that sun, bro. Jeez. No, no. Definitely show the resources. Like... Oh. Oh, my God. Like, the entire planet's lead, dude. So, we got... Oh, there we go. What's this one? Water, right? Water, argon, lead, and iron and then that's pretty much it land there let's go I'm so I'm already like so into this into this game it's crazy so we've now found our first planet and this is like our first quest I guess and we figured out how to buy buy Hold on a second. We're waiting on the landing procedure. Okay, so now we've figured out how to take off, land, explore space a little bit, marginal space combat, so far but overall i think we we did pretty good and now we've learned how to travel to planets pick up junk in space and now we're going to explore this crete research laboratory next and see where we go from there to see when we can finally build our awesome spaceship the first one i'm going to build it is one of my all-time favorites from a movie that i like if you guys know the name of my character then you'll actually kind of figure it out but We'll get there soon enough, because I think I'm going to try to build all the spaceships from that movie specifically. So, we'll see you guys in the next video.